Hi guys, I said I was going to uh, make another video when the benchmarks were released for the new Intel 2GHz CPU that's found in the Razer Eye. And we've got some benchmarks now, so here's the video. Okay, so there's a few things to note. Firstly, Motorola were quick to tell the testers that they were testing on a pre-release Razer Eye. So some software upgrades may change the scores. Um, but saying that these scores should give us a good inclination of what they can do, what this processor can do. Again, it's a single core 2 gigahertz Intel Atom processor and this is the first phone to house it. So in this little stat sheet they've put it against the Motorola Droid Razer M. This has an S4 dual core 1.5 gigahertz CPU Again, and the ZTE Grand X which has a 1.6 Medfield Z2460 CPU. Uh, forget that one though, because that's not overly important. Basically, we'll know how well it competes against the S4, which is dual core. And, well, the S4 beats it in everything bar the Sun Spider. Um, sun, sun Spider result, because the lower is better on the Sun Spider. Um, Intel have said to me have done a lot of work and so have Mo Motorola have done a lot of work on browser performance and that's what Sun Spider tests. Um, otherwise it's pretty much soundly beaten. Um, the CF bench here is a major difference but I think there might have been some sort of incompatibility or some error here because that is very low, much lower than the rest of them. You can see, I mean it does trail them, um, not like amazingly like and tutu is a good one to go by here and the s4 gets 6364 compared to the single core 2 gigahertz 6175 so not overly different um what do these numbers mean well what it tells us is that a single core 2 gigahertz processor is actually pretty damn good um like I said, it says here, yeah, Intel's been focusing on with its mobile hardware, its browser performance. Um, but yeah, what do these what do these mean? They don't mean that much. Um, benchmarks are just benchmarks. You know, they're synthetic benchmarks. They don't always tell us that it's the better device. The fact that this is two gigahertz, but it's a single core, might mean that it's better on the battery. We'll have to find out. Um, yeah, they've promised good power saving, so they'll be testing that over the next few days. It is behind the S4, we kind of always thought it would be. The fact that the S4 is clocked at 1.5 GHz, the S4 is better, newer architecture, and it's dual core. Um, it is behind, it's not amazingly behind it, um, which is a testament to Intel's Atom processor, it's pretty damn good. I'd love to see the battery benchmarks, it might be worth it, you know, if it saves loads of battery, why not? Okay, um, I mean, if you saw my earlier videos, it doesn't even take, like, even a little bit away from the S4 Pro, which is a quad-core, it smashes. Please go look at that other video for the benchmarks of the S4 Pro, because it is an amazing CPU. Anyway, that's my little video on this Intel Atom. Let me know what you guys think. It's interesting because it's the first Intel um, processor, this Intel Atom processor in, in a phone. So, yeah, big deal. See you guys later.